Hi guys, Ashley here and today we talk about WeChat again. In fact, we talk about the differences between WeChat and Weixin. We can sort of say that WeChat and Weixin is the same app, but let's look at it this way. Weixin is a Chinese version of the app and WeChat is the international version of the app. But let's see what are the major differences. First of all, when you go to your Apple store and download uh, WeChat or Weixin, how does it actually determine whether to give you a Chinese version or international version? They look at your phone number. So if your phone number is mainland Chinese plus 86, then you're most likely getting a Weixin account. Uh, the app is also smart. They also look at your uh, language operating system language and your app language, typing language, etc. But primarily, uh, it's determined by the phone number that you're using uh, at your first login. Um, so what are the differences? Yeah, you're getting your international WeChat version, so what's the problem? So you can see this is my WeChat, and if we go to me, this is the place where you get all these additional features, where you can uh, um, get the hotels booked, where you can pay for taxi, where you can see your wallet and mini programs. So I have a lot less um, functions than what Weixin has. Again, you can manually activate them, but they are not readily available for you. So for example, for WeChat wallet, you can still activate it if somebody pays you money or you manually go to the app to activate that function. Uh, for mini programs, uh, you need to first use it once so it would appear in your stream. Yeah, so the versions are a bit different. But probably the biggest, the biggest difference is the official accounts. Um, Weixin official account data is stored in China and uh, brands and companies that open official Weixin accounts are bind by China government rules. When the international version WeChat does not uh, have to comply with any rules and their data is stored outside of China. So what does it mean? It means that Chinese consumers and users of WeChat can only find Weixin official accounts. Yeah, They cannot search and find and use the international version. Um, the same thing with QR codes. If they go to an international one, an error message will show up. So bottom line, what does it mean for brands? You cannot, as a foreign brand, register an official WeChat account and be promoting to Chinese consumers. You definitely need to get your Weixin version and you need to register it, you need to have uh, accounts set up, you can start your advertising, you can start your promotion, you can be searchable, you can link it to WeChat store and go from there onwards. To register your Weixin's official account, you will have to have China registration, company registration, and you will have to go through official procedure. Um, this is it for today. I hope it cleared up some confusion. If you are a brand that wants to penetrate China and start doing promotion sales for the China market and China, to, to the Chinese consumers, you definitely need to get the mainland Chinese Weixin version. Uh, we're going to be talking more about Chinese social media, China consumers and China market in our further videos. Definitely check out Ashley Talks for more information and we'll chat soon.